हेलो गाइज होप यू आर एल वेल एंड रिशभ दिस साइड एंड टुडे आई हैव गॉट दिस एड्रीन एक्स कॉम्बैट अल्ट्रा सिक्स थाउजेंड रैकेट सो यू ऑलरेडी नो गाइज इफ़ यू आर फॉलोइंग माई जर्नी ऑन यूट्यूब आई हैव ऑलरेडी अनबॉक्सड अड्रेन एक्स रैकेट एंड डैट वॉज प्रिटी गुड बट टुडे ऑल्सो हैव दिस रैकेट सो नाउ लेट सी वॉट वी हैव टू डू ऑल्सो दिस इज़ अ अनबॉक्सिंग वीडियो नॉट अनबॉक्सिंग दिस इज़ अ गिव अवे वीडियो सो for the giveaway part please stay tuned for the video because i'll be asking any question at any moment in the giveaway and you need to do that so first we will open our racket we'll keep it aside we'll look at the cover so the padding of the cover is quite good it's red in color so it's quite good and the outer package outer covering is also a bit fine it it is just fine for the price you can't ask for anything else and you can see it's written 4999 is the price but we actually got it for 1800 rupees and in the sale period and all you will get this racket for around 1400 to 1500 rupees so it we don't know if it's a justified price or not but uh, here is a look at your beautiful racket no doubt the racket is very beautiful and you have got this this shiny looking wide grip to the racket we'll see the features of this racket combat ultra so now the racket is really beautiful but uh, now we talk about the specifications of the racket so the material used on the racket is 32 japanese graphite that is the you can say that the solid thing the solid most thing in the market when we talk about the graphite thing so uh, you can say the durability factor of the shaft and the you can say the frame will be fine this is the shaft and this is the frame so this is made of 30t japanese graphite that is good head shape is all, always isometric anyways uh, most of the racket nowadays are manufacturing isometric only head shape was a fashion in carbonex racket and all but now it's a thing of past you only get these isometric shape racket okay the other thing is string tension so the string tension which you can put is 28 to 30 lbs my suggestion personally would be to go about for 27 or 26 reason being uh, they are saying from you can get go from 28 to 30 but uh, if you can go for 28 uh, the string tension will be good but the life of the racket will be degraded so you want the life of the racket and i am really sure that if you are buying this racket you are a, a thorough beginner or maybe a intermediate player but i would not recommend this racket for a intermediate player this is of course a beginner racket so if you are a beginner you will be looking for durability and if you will go for the higher um, variants in the string tension you may lose your racket so 26 to 27 is the most preferred uh, only if you are very hitting the sweet spot of the racket on many occasions or on you can say uh, you can say on 90 to 95% if you are hitting the sweet spot then only go for 26 to 27 neither you will strings will break because if you'll hit these spots you'll strings will break of course okay so this was the, uh, this thing and also the string tension of these strings the the strings which came with this racket so it will be around around 18 18 you can say it will be 18 lb around 18 lb so that's not really strong not really strong uh, 18 lb is not at all preferred you you have to give a string tension of around 20 for a price range of this no ways anyways uh, grip size is g3 3.5 inches and the grip is really sturdy it really feels good in the hands and uh, it really absorb the shock so you don't need to apply another grip on it, on it and that is also very very good the grip is good overall now comes the weight of the racket the weight of the racket is is 84 grams with the gutted string and 81 when it is unstrung so weight is also good it comes in the range of 4u and 4u is the same category in which all the professional player play uh, this is the category of the professional players so 4u is just good weight uh, 
not very light not very heavy just fine now talking about the flex the shaft flexibility so it is a flexible uh, shaft racket you can't really bend your racket a, a lot uh, i can feel that you can't bend it so this is a flexible shaft of course and i can say that the shaft is really thick so thick shaft means uh, you won't have the control and the power not power but you will lack the control so flexible shaft is tailor made for the beginners because the point is uh, you won't have to exert much pressure on the shots you won't have to exert more power in your shots to clear the third line and for a beginner clearing the third line is a must you have to clear the third line if you need to uh, you can say uh, just uh, ignore the chances of a smash or a very good precise drop so you need to clear the third line or you need to uh, hit the shuttle on the back court that is very important and this flexible racket you won't have to exert much power so it will be energy saving for you first of all second thing uh, the more the stiff the racket there will be more control and more power but uh, with advantages come great disadvantages so in this racket you will have disadvantage of not having much power because flexible shaft won't provide you much power and control as well but when we talk about the third line clear and all it will be very very good plus uh, the defense will be very very good if you if you are getting a smash so just hitting a cross court will be very very easy from this racket so from the flexible racket this is one thing which you will be benefited but it also has some disadvantages guys so it's up to you now the balance of this racket is a, it is evenly balanced not heavy from this side not heavy from this side this is evenly balanced so you will get everything like you will get the control because this is a heavy head this is a uh, balanced racket so you will get control and power so in you will get everything you can't complain like you're not getting the defense right or you you are not getting the offense right you will get overall everything because this is a balanced racket so you it's it's just fine okay now the height of this racket is 66.4 cm if i'm not wrong so from this corner to this corner it's 66.4 cm the beam width is 12 12.1 mm that is also standard so the adrenex guys they have mentioned that this racket is made for intermediates if you take my opinion no it's not for intermediates it's for the beginners only because as i've told you the shaft and all uh, this racket won't give you much power uh so it's only tailor made for uh, beginners if you're playing outdoors or if you have just prepared if you have just started your badminton journey indoors so you can go with this racket and uh, something more guys what strings you can uh, just uh, get this racket with if if you're not playing with the strings uh, the best option is to go with bg65 for 26 to 27 lb you can also go with nano g95 or nano g99 that is a bit costly uh, that is with a gauge of uh, 0.69 mm and with those strings you can get a bit of power and durability of course uh, if you are uh, looking for a low budget string you can go with the leaning ap7 or leaning number 7 that is also 0.70 mm you can uh, surely have a go at durability but don't expect much power if you want power and durability you can go with bg80 but uh, going for a 700 to 800 rupees string for 1800 rupees racket is not worth but you can still have a go at it you can still try it and one thing which i would recommend you is kizuna z69 and uh, another one is from i guess head uh, all the strings with a gauge of 0.69 they will provide you power and uh, you can say durability so uh, in these basic rackets i will say you can go with those strings because in the durable string you won't fi find any power and you will complain that you are not generating any power so better to go with a 0.69 mm string so this was my take uh, overall uh, just a fine racket i would not say that uh, this is very good people are differentiating this racket with the uh, nano ray 18i of yonix can be you can differentiate like uh, it is just fine uh, it comes in that category like in the nano ray 89 category 
the string tension is the same all the specifications are the same you can say that, that this racket is just a copy of nano ray 18i but uh, performance wise i will say that nano ray 18i is a much better racket that is more durable racket if i can say and if i was playing with these strings these pre gridded string and of a nano ray 18i strings the nano ray 18i strings did much better than these strings so but one thing which this racket can compete with nano ray 18i is they can decrease the price like for 1500 rupees they can just uh, label it and maybe the sales will skyrocket and then maybe i can say that for a better price this racket is much better than nano ray 18i but for the same price nano ray 18i is much better than this racket because yonix is a brand of course and uh, you can't really compare this racket with nano ray 18i yes specifications are the same but the performance differs like if you are playing a drop shot and all if you are playing the third line clear or a smash yes the performance is differentiating nano ray 18i is much better than this so this was my take at this racket overall you can buy this racket if you are getting it for a good price i will also give you the suggestion of the string in the comments below and also for the giveaway part guys you can get this racket from me you can see this is another combat you can get this racket from me you just need to comment uh, what brand of racket you like in the sections below and i will pick one lucky winner after one month around on around you can say 20th december i will pick one lucky winner and you need to dm me your details on instagram so this was my take of course you can get sing suggestions in the comments below and hope you like this video if you did like please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming up with more unboxing and badminton stuffs in the future as well guys so stay tuned for more and as of now bye bye